Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the primary subsidiary of a customer when it's grayed out or inline text within NetSuite. Now, by default, NetSuite does not allow you to change the primary subsidiary of a customer once a transaction has been applied against it. So, to get around this, what we're going to first do is create a new customer and then merge the existing customer that needs to be changed into it. Before we get into that, the first thing we're going to need to do is to enable duplicate detection and merge. This may be found underneath Setup, Company, and Enable Features. Now within the Enable Features area and this Company sub tab, you can go down here and there should be a Duplicate Detection and Merge. Go ahead and check this off and simply click on Save. Once this is checked and saved, what we're going to first do is to look at the main customer that needs to have the primary subsidiary changed. For this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to change this test customer one's primary subsidiary from parent company to another subsidiary. If I go and edit this customer, what you will notice is the primary subsidiary is inline text or grayed out if you're using a different user interface. I cannot change the subsidiary. However, I can add additional subsidiaries down below here and I can select those on transactions, but this primary subsidiary with parent company is going to be the default. So what we're gonna to do to change this primary subsidiary on this customer is to create a brand new customer underneath list, relationships, customers, and new. And now on this new customer record, we're simply just gonna give this a company name. So I'm gonna call this test customer one dash new. So the only thing I'm gonna change here is put a dash new at the end of the name. All right, so I have test customer one dash new, and I've also set the customer ID to be test customer one dash new to ensure this has a unique value as if this was not unique and it just said test customer one, NetSuite would give me an error to say I can't save this because it does need to be unique within the customer ID. We will be changing this after we do the merge, so no issues there. Then lastly, on this customer, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that this has the correct primary subsidiary. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be Germany as my primary subsidiary that I want this customer to be in and just simply click on save. So that's all we need to do here is just make sure that we have a company name, the customer ID is unique, and then the primary subsidiary is the primary subsidiary that you want to update that customer to be. So what we're gonna do then next is go back to that main customer record. If you are in edit mode, because of that enabling functionality with the duplicate detection and merge, you should see either a button here that says merge, again, in edit mode, or if you hover over the actions, you might see it underneath the actions where it says merge. So you will need to be in edit mode and simply click on merge with the main customer that has the incorrect subsidiary. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on merge here. And NetSuite gives a warning that says this is irreversible data change. Basically, once we make this change, we can't go back to what we originally had, which is completely fine. All we're going to be doing is simply taking all the information, whether it be transactions or anything that's set on that main customer, and populating it into the new customer. Thankfully, the new customer only has the name as well as the subsidiary that are going to be set there. Everything else will just be populated from that main customer. This will also copy over the backend functionality. So if you have an external ID set on that customer, it will copy that external ID to be available with that new customer. You don't need to update that as well. So what we're gonna do is we have the duplicate. This is our duplicate. The main customer that we wanna move into is actually gonna be our duplicate. And then we're gonna move this into the primary customer that we want to select as the customer that we just set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and select test customer one dash new as the primary here. So once we select the primary customer, which is again, the customer that we just created, what we'll, you will see is you'll see the duplicate down below here with all the information. And then we have the primary customer that we're gonna populate that into. Okay, and you can also see the transaction count, the primary currency, et cetera. So that now I'm gonna go ahead and simply click on merge here with the button. And NetSuite gives me a warning that this says, this is irreversible. Are you sure you want to merge these entities? And I'm gonna simply click on okay. Now this will take us to a duplicate resolution status and this will go into a queued area because we're just doing it for one customer in this case, this should go pretty quick. So you can keep clicking this refresh until the status is complete. Once it is complete, you'll see a little checkbox icon and it says the number of entities is one, number of resolved is one as well. So what I can do now is if I go back to that duplicate customer, you can actually click on the hot link down below here where it says test customer one dash new. If I go ahead and simply click on that, that's gonna open up that customer that we just created. And what you'll see on this customer that we just created, remember I did not put an email address, phone number, etc. The only thing that we did was making sure that primary subsidiary is listed as Germany instead of parent company. 
And I have my additional companies down below here with those transactions. And all I need to do on this particular customer is edit and change the customer ID to be what we had it to be before, which was gonna be test customer one. Same thing with the company name here. Perfect, and then I can simply click on save. Now, once this is saved, I do recommend doing this in a sandbox environment if this is the first time you're ever doing this, as it is irreversible, as NetSuite said on those pages prior to this. Once you get the hang of it, you can certainly do it directly in production. This concludes the tutorial on how to change the primary subsidiary of a customer record in NetSuite. Please like and subscribe. If you have any additional comments, feel free to list them below. Thank you.